everybody. I wanted to say um, thank you so much for all the great feedback that we got from you guys on part one. So I noticed that I got a lot of comments, a lot of people had questions about my breast reduction. Now listen, as you can see, <laughs> well, as you can see, they are still full, but believe me, they way smaller than what they were. Yeah, I never really unleashed them on y'all like I could have, but these are way smaller. But I am happy with them now. I actually can wear dresses that are backless with no bra and I'm still good because they still sit up, but they're not sitting so high. They're just, you know, perky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My nipples, I still have filling in them. I know a lot of people ask that question because yes, it is true. For some people, they do lose the sensation in their nipples afterwards. Mine, I still have mine. At first, you know, they were super, super sensitive and sore to the touch, you know what I mean? Of course, you know, they're broken now. So they feel better. <laughs> but basically, I'm happy. I'm happy with how they turned out and everything came together like it needed to. Um, thank God, I know doing any procedure is a scary thing. I told myself last time that was it for me. I wasn't going back to getting any more procedures, but you know, so that's why I laid it all out on the table for y'all on part one of my series. Now listen, let me tell you this. Some of y'all thought that he paid me for this. That is not why I did this. First of all, he did not pay me to do this, nor did he do my surgery for free to be clear. <laughs> um, I really asked him if he, if he didn't mind, you know, just doing the interview. I didn't even know if I was actually going to show it or not when we first went to do the procedure and asked him about um, videoing. Jamie, she just always gets all my content. We said we want to do something about plastic surgery because one thing that we noticed is that it's so many celebrities and influencers out there who get on the table and then hop off and act like they've been at the gym for 10 months. And we just know that that is not always true. And with that being said, I wanted to be very open about the things that I've done because I feel there are so many people that you can help when you share. Hell, you could help some people not make mistakes, you know, if they know the people who not to go to and things not to do. That is what I did it for. And with that being said, I'm happy with me and what I've done, okay? And to be clear, I want you to know that I am not promoting laying down on the table to have anything done. That is not what this series is about. It's just about if you've ever had any questions, if you've ever thought about it, if you were curious to know how the procedure is, what the experience was, from people who've actually done it. That's all, it's just information um, from people who've been in this situation themselves and the choices that we made for ourselves. We're not putting those choices on you, okay? I want you to be clear because at the end of the day, I think it's something that we do for ourselves. Let's, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. My husband did not want me to do a reduction he really liked my big old, big old, big old boobs, okay? I personally felt like they were just way too much. You know, they were just doing the most. Actually, I think I'm gonna give you a picture from the dungeon tour that I hate. The one with me and Don Juan and his brother. You know, clearly on Housewives, we wear a lot of dresses and everything that cut low or whatever, but when you have those big old gigantic boots. It's just for me, I just wanna be able to be, you know how these girls be cute with they little dress and they be backless and they ain't gotta wear no bra, they ain't gotta tape them up. Well, now I don't have to tape them up. Before I was having to get that dang on uh, box tape and pull these bad boys up. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot going on under those shirts and dresses, okay? Full circle, Todd loves them. Um, okay, that first week or two, they do be looking kind of, I don't know, because they be sitting up real high, and as they're settling, one may drop before the other, so hey, every every other day, he was like, is that how it's supposed to be? <laughs> 
But now, they're perfection. Um, I hope this has been helpful to you if this is something that you were curious about. And if it's not anything that you're into, I am with you, child. You do not have to do nothing. You are perfect the way you are. It's just for people who are into that or that's something they want for themselves. This was something that I wanted for me. I hope you're looking forward to learning more because there are lots more procedures out there that we have dug a little deeper into finding out about on this episode of Speak On It. We've got our girl, Tierra Monet, and she's going to break it all down, some of the surgeries and different things that she herself has experienced, things she's done, things she liked, things she didn't like, things she felt like worked for her and things that did not work. Yes, we talked about it all and she just laid it all out on the table. I am excited for you to hear things from her, her opinion and her point of view. So I know you guys still had questions, even though I thought I kind of laid it all out on the table, okay? But I know that there are still more questions, but guess what? You're gonna learn so much more because when Tiara was sitting down with me telling all of her things that she's been through and done, like, of course, I shared more as well about different things that I had to deal with or whatever, um, mistakes that I made and, you know, all of that good stuff. So, um, and plus the follow-up appointment with Dr. Deal. So yesterday I got my breast reduction and he definitely reduced them, okay? Because I don't, my, my boobies were big, okay? I was wearing a, a, a double D bra, but really it was too little. <laughs> you know how you just refuse to buy new bras, but you know you need to, that's where I was at with that. But anyway, he definitely reduced these bad boys. Um, he replaced my implant. I was too woozy yesterday to even get the information of how big of an implant he put in, any of that. I'm going back today for my follow-up. Yesterday, I was like out of it. Today, for my follow-up, I'm going to go and he's going to let me know how it all looks. Because guess what? I haven't even seen him yet. I seen him in this bra. You know, I don't know if I can, this is what I got going on right now. He got the bra with the padding in it. So, I can see the bra, but I've been told not to take it off yet until I get to him and he's going to do, you know, the follow-up visit. I was told not to take a shower yet either. So, I hope I'm not too stank. <laughs> Jamie, I'm a stank. No. Okay. Well, hopefully I showered enough well the day before. Because right now, I cannot take a shower today. So, I'm okay with that for a second. I won't be seeing nobody. So, y'all ain't got to worry about me staking up the place. But, um, he did revise my tummy tuck scar as well. Back in 2017, when Ace turned one years old, um, I went and got me a tummy tuck, honey. And he told me then that, because the way that he likes to do things, he does your your tummy tuck and he pulls you as tight as you can or whatever and um then he once always likes to come back and do a revision on the scar because he says that because everything's pulled tight you know that pull, puts tension on your scar which can make it a little bit thicker or a little bit wider than he like for it to be so he always wants you to come back and um he redoes that he kind of includes that um follow-up procedure in the pricing and it's only like an extra cost for i guess the anesthesiologist or something like that don't give me the line they can tell you if you ever want to go call them and use them but it's not like a oh i gotta pay for surgery again it's not that type of situation i think that's a really good thing because normally doctors they send you off and like yeah okay you good but no he likes for you to come back he follows up he checks his work and all that good stuff which is important so we're gonna go back and see how it all came together now mind you it ain't gonna be ready to see see yet. But in a few weeks or whenever, you know, it's all coming down and swelling is going away, we'll do like a swimsuit post or picture to add so that you guys can see how it's all coming along. Okay? And if you want, you don't necessarily have to stand for the whole thing because I know it's kind of a lot to have okay. to stand up. So you can stay how you are and I'm just gonna start getting the sides undone, okay? Okay. And you're going to be very swollen today, okay. so keep that in mind. And how long does that last? Generally, 
after a couple weeks, most of the swelling's gone, but you're gonna have a little bit of swelling even up until like four to six months. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, you ready for the bra? Yeah. This is a big reveal, right? <laughs> Same thing, big release of pressure when I first take it off. Take all these pads Ooh. off, and they're gonna stick to the stirry strips too, okay? So Look, just a forewarning. Oh, Those wow. perky boobs, girl. My goodness, girl. Those things are sitting up. There. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. You laying back and they sitting up. Look at that. Look how. Uh oh, good job. Don't yeah, hold this. Ooh. Oh. You look yeah. awesome. You like them? I mean, I like them, but are they still big? You're very swollen. You want FaceTime touch? Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Everything's going to just get better from here. I think you look nice and curvy. I think you look awesome. Yeah. yeah the lump she was. All right. We're admiring your handiwork. <laughs> All right. So. Your case went extremely well. All right. So let's you talk about it. Great job. Really what size implant did you put in? Uh, it was basically uh, close to the same. It? it was uh, close to the same size, but then gummy and maybe slightly. Gosh, I think it may have been just slightly larger. I think it was a tiny bit bigger. Yeah, like it was like 10, 15 or so I'll double check. I'll look in your chart. Now, That's my husband. Sorry. All right. <laughs> He's going to be very happy. Take a look. Okay, little perkies. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm still swollen. Okay, now. Why are you coochie up? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, several several things here. Seen here. You stay on that medicine, uh, Singular, which seems kind of silly. Why would you be on Singular? Oh, singular. singular is just an allergy medicine. No. But when people tend to oak form thicker scars like caps or contraction of the breast, it can prevent it from hardening. Okay? We have it. Yeah, well, you have it. Yeah, that, is that the one a day? It's the one a day. Okay. You're going to stay on that medicine. It will also prevent allergies. You said okay? That was I know it sounds silly, like, ah, I'm done taking this. Take it religiously. It'll so prevent capsular contraction. Look at that scar. No dog ears. Everything. I mean, I'm I'm crazy happy with everything. So okay, here's my other question. Do I put any of the? You know how they have the uh, scar tape mm -hmm. or the? You will do that. Tape Just right it. now, you're gonna leave this tape on. You're gonna shower on that. Shower's gonna start tomorrow. Now. Breasts look perky, everything looks good. Notice the implants are sitting up a little too high right now. They're gonna have to settle some, that's on purpose. That mm -hmm. When the implant's a little too high, that makes the nipple look a little too low. When this comes down, nipple rotates up, okay? okay. Um, it's kind of over lifted on purpose. Mm -hmm. You can see how tight it is on the sides. I like it. Right? All yeah. that? Because you gotta let it like settle that. some. Um, if you like it higher and perkier like this, I'll put you in a, an extra bra called a cleavage bra, which will make it heel high like this. But if you want it to look a little more natural than this, yeah. then um, just wear that bra. On. If you like the kind of high, high, high faker no, look like this, you say the high fake look. If you, well, that is right. It's a little they bit of the fake. You know what I'm talking about? Like <laughs> breasts don't naturally grow out and up like this; yeah. they grow down, right? Yeah. So I, the word fake has a bad connotation. Please don't take it with a bad connotation. I mean to say, uh, you know. If you want them to kind of defy gravity like this, I'll give you an extra bra that wraps around the side of the breast and we'll have them heel in really high and tight like this. If you want them to settle a little bit, just wear this bra, it'll let it stretch and settle just a touch. Yeah. I mean, look, look at it, and this is day one. Mm -hmm. Remember, yeah. normally people look bruised, beat up, swollen, and they have to tell you to come. She looks good now. This is what you look like today, mm -hmm. which is already spectacular. Imagine with the way things are gonna look. I'm very proud of this final result. You know, you'll, get even, you'll get even smaller. Okay. And now the scar therapy matters because this is your final scar. Right. Any injections, okay, fine. Anything we do to baby discard it, fine. Your breasts work very tight right here. So if anything ever needs to be touched up, it'll be those scars. Okay? Yeah, this one. scar will be done because it's not under tension. But remember I mentioned if we have wound tension, that's the issue. So if you do develop thick scars, it'll be here. And if it does, no panic. It'll still look beautiful and great. We just need to come back and do this and take the scar out, which is simple. All right, I'm happy for you. I've got I gotta go back to the operating room. I know you got that. <laughs> um, you look amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm very very happy. I'm I'll give you a hug, but right now it'd be inappropriate to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you look so amazing. much. No, yeah, Thank you. It. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I can't yeah. wait to see that amazing body out there. You know. Maybe on TV somewhere, maybe somewhere on social media. Oh, please, you're going to see it. I'm going to show up. <laughs> I'll right. get you some fresh pads. Too. All right, guys. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. And I'm going to put a little bit of... You're already healing very well.
And how long do I need to pad? Um, I would say at least after the first week, you know, the tape comes off, I would still keep some padding on there for at least another week because you don't want anything rubbing on those incisions and causing mm -hmm. any wound breakdown. But, I mean, if you're healing great and you don't feel like anything's rubbing, you don't have to use padding after the first week. I'll put this on the loosest one just so it's not squeezing you too much. And I'll go ahead and give you one of those cleavage bras mm -hmm. and you can just kind of determine, you know, if you want to wear it, you can. If you don't want to, that's totally fine too. Okay. You like it? Mm -hmm. You look awesome. I'm gonna hurt you. Yeah, they are. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be next. <laughs> I'm sold. I'm next. <laughs> no, she looks good. She looks, good. she looks really natural. Mm -hmm. You know, I was worried about the scarring because I don't like scars and stuff. But mm -hmm. I think it'll heal pretty good. It doesn't look like she's gonna mm -hmm. have like crazy scars or anything. Mm -hmm. How long has she been talking about these boobs? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Have you been wanting to do it for a while? Yes. What? Driving us crazy about them boobs. <laughs> these for three years. <laughs> Why have you waited so I can't so wear long? this because I of these never boobs. Have a I can't wear that because oh, of these bad. boobs. I think uh, her, pro uh, her tie gonna have problems because she gonna be trying to wear all these halter tops, crop tops. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? One strap <laughs> across the whole breast. Like ma'am, uh, you can't wear that out. <laughs> Yeah, you know, they tell her nothing. Nothing. Crop tops in the wintertime. <laughs> <laughs> you All ready right. to go back up to yeah. the state tour, right? <laughs> right. Okay. Let me get my mouth. There it is. I was gonna say, I know you came in here wearing something other than this. Side. No more moo-moos. <laughs> That's it, we burning all the moo-moos. <laughs> oh, you know I'm rocking a bikini now, honey. All them bikinis that I bought that I couldn't wear before. I'm putting them on now. Or oh. heavier than that, you can kind of do like the squat and lift, but none of this movement because yeah. that's what's really gonna affect the suturing and everything. Did you see your 2017 pictures yesterday? Can we take you a picture? You want to go all the way back? Yeah. What's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy, and I have the beautiful Tierra Monet hey, sitting here with me to talk about all things under the knife. <laughs> all right. <laughs> anyway, um, and you know what? Guess what? We are about to speak on it. Period. So, girl. Okay, first of all, um, a lot of people right offhand, I mean, you have been a major influencer through YouTube and just all social channels or whatever for a very long time. You were one of the first to really do it, do it. Yeah, I've been in the game for a long time. 17, 2000 and what, six, seven? My first YouTube video went up. I was singing. Wow. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be Cassie. I thought I was gonna bust out singing. So I was doing YouTube covers and then they'd be like, that's cute, but your hair. I was like, oh, you want to see how I do it? Okay. And I just mm. put a camera in my mirror, mm -hmm. did my hair, and that was it. Mm. I came back. There were 10,000 views. And back then, 10,000 views were like a million. Mm -hmm. and I was like, mom, I'm famous. Yeah! I made it. <laughs> we made it. So yeah, I just kept doing hair tutorials. And then I mm -hmm. realized there was more money in makeup. And mm -hmm. I just, I learned how to do makeup. I didn't wear a lick of it. Mm -hmm. And we're here now. We're here now. God is good. God is good all the time. All the time. You know, you are definitely um, doing major things. But then I was just saying to you prior to us, you know, turning the camera on, I was saying, well, for me, you know, I, I do a lot of different things, you know, with television here and music here and all this other kind of stuff. But, you know, I have a love for doing my own platform on social media as well or whatever. And I was getting all excited about my little 500,000 followers. Which is ridiculous. No, you that have 700,000 plus followers. So like... The numbers that really don't major. matter. It does matter. You have the viewership though. What does that mean? Like you can have 500,000 subscribers and no views. Like, you know, like mm -hmm. the numbers, it's, it's, a, it's a great accomplishment, but I feel like you have people that tune in to your show and engage with your show. Well, so you can have 200 and you know, the engagement is there. That's the biggest thing. I didn't think about it that way, but yeah, I get your point. 
Yeah. Um, Still epic though. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, all the rest of us be like, why my numbers ain't moving up? It's taking too I long. I know. It's so hard not to pay attention to the numbers, but it's yeah. all vanity. When you think about it, it's like all about engagement. Who's tuning in? Who cares about you? Mm-hmm. Who comes back without being notified? Well, I'm glad you used the word vanity. Because that's what we're about to go back to. About. That's what we're talking about today. So to me, um, I think that it's really cool that you talked about basically plastic surgery yeah. on your um, social media channel before. I am not a disclaimer girl. I feel like you knew what you was getting yourself into when you clicked this video. You know, if you're against plastic surgery and um, breast augmentations, obviously this is not gonna be in a video for you. Just because I'm getting them done doesn't mean I don't like myself or I don't like my breasts. It's just, I wanna enhance them. If anything, I feel like it means I love them even more. Nervous is a normal human emotion. <laughs> don't worry about that. I love that you will say, hey, yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. And that was something I wanted to hit on today because I feel like people who are in the public eye, you know, they do all this stuff you know, whether it be body surgery, facial lips situations, you know, yeah, hair situations, all kind of stuff, and then be at like, oh, I woke up like this, like Child. I was born this way. Child. Whereas to me, I think it's kind of cool when you can keep it 100 with the people, yeah, and then actually give them advice on what to do, yeah, because I feel like so many people, you know, we glorify what we see. You know, and on the pub, the people that are in the public eye, we hear the rumors that they've done certain things or whatever, but we really don't know what they did. And if they, if we did know what they did, we maybe would like to try it for ourselves, and we would love to know the right doctors and the right people to go see. I just think like the stigma has definitely been, you fake, you got work done, you're not real. But now mm-hmm. it's more celebrated, and mm-hmm. people are open. So now it's like you can be open. Mm-hmm. But five years ago, if you told someone you did anything, even an under eye injection, it's like, oh, girl, mm, you don't love yourself. That is true. That is so true. And then on top of that, I mean, to keep it 100, which, you know, I'm a little older than you. <laughs> Reverse girl. agent, okay? No, Reverse agent. I'm just saying. <laughs> Back in the 90s, people, early 90s, people used to look down upon you just for wearing a hair weave. Really? What? It had to be like, like unclockable. Uh, basically, like they'd be like, "Ooh, her hair is fake. Her this is fake. Her this is, you know, whatever, whatever." Nancy. I know for a fact on our first Escape album, you know, when I used to wear the bob with uh-huh. the part in the middle, that was all my hair, you know, Period. whatever. But it, no, I mean, I didn't wear a weave. Yeah. But for me, it was like if people suggested me to put a weave in my hair, I'd be like, "Oh no, like I don't need it. Oh, I can't. I, I don't need that. Oh, I can't." No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? It was like this thing of, oh. I needed to be natural. It needed to be mine. Yeah, oh, it needed to be mine or something. I remember the first time that I met Wendy Williams when our group, (laughs) she was doing radio, Uh and our group had went to her show or whatever. And I remember her first time meeting, she was like, is that your hair? And I was like, yeah. "Yeah." And she was like, oh, oh, okay. Oh, she didn't believe you. Well, at first she (laughs) did. I'd be like, yeah, she was giving me like a full like, hmm. oh, okay. I looks, kinda had a similar experience good. with Miss Wendy. She Did just, you? She has a hair thing. It's really? a hair thing with her. Yeah, she act like she didn't know what a protective style was. And I was like, Wendy, we are both wearing wigs. Yeah. I'm so confused <laughs> right now. And I'm on camera like, um, it's, it's uh, protective style is. <laughs> like, ma'am, we are both. And wigs, same color too. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, the terms have been forever changing. Yeah. And everybody's coming up with these new terms for everything nowadays. And I myself have to re-educate myself. Same. Periodically. The reason why I decided to do this really um, recently, I decided to get a breast reduction and mm-hmm. lift. Okay. Yeah, these are new, girl. These oh. are new. Oh. I mean, what size are we? Uh, well, I haven't been back in real bras yet. Okay. That's how new they are. I'm oh, still in fresh. my sports bra underneath. Okay. I'm a sports bra. You know, they don't like you to wear underwear or bras yep. when you first get it done. Yep. I'll be four weeks on Tuesday. Are you a fresh fresh? Fresh hey, fresh. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. So, um, what made you get, uh, your poops always look so good to me. They were huge to me. And um, in my opinion, this is just for my personal preference. I think everybody is different, you know. I just don't like really, really big breasts. Okay. And then to me, uh, I'm short. I'm 5'3". I'm right there. 
Oh, you sure too? Five, four, but on my ID it says oh, five, you got five. your heels on. Yeah, you man. know, you know. Yeah, I just feel like when you have big behind mm-hmm. and big boobs, sometimes mm-hmm. it makes you look heavier. larger yeah. or heavier. And, you know, I'm constantly getting, everybody thinks when they see me on TV, they be like, oh, she's huge. Sometimes You are so tiny to me. Well, I think in person when people meet me, this is the first thing I get in person. Oh, my God, you lost so much weight. Thank you. That's the first thing they say, even if I'm the same size I was. They, okay, so because the, the television adds 10 pounds. Right. So people think you're heavier and they're shocked. Exactly. Rude, though. That's yeah. Rude. I mean, over COVID that time last year, I did gain weight, but I, I ended up losing it. But now I'm just the size that I regularly am. But people still be like, oh, my God, like. I really did something, <laughs> but, um, I, you know, obviously, you know, if you have a life on TV, you know, you, that's something you do where you're yeah. going to look bigger. And that's why people who do TV tend to want to be smaller than they really are. Yeah. Like I said, I'm a little older than you. And I just feel like when them bad boys be hanging and swinging. <laughs> so you, did you have implants before? Yeah, so, okay, so this is what I did. Okay. And I'm going to keep it. Oh, we are ready. We jumping ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you and the people. So, in a life, I've had, I've tried lipo three times. First time I ever um, did anything, tried to get any work done, was after my first year on Housewives. So, going into my second season. Watching yourself. Um... Well, yeah, well, it wasn't really that. Um, the thing was for me at the time, I had like a little, just a little bit of loose skin right here around my- um, Well, you're a mama. Yeah, I had, you know, Riley was already born then or whatever. So it was just like a little push that would never go flat. And, yeah. And that bothered me. You and so to. my friend had told me about, you know, this doctor that she had went to or whatever. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go for a consultation go and see what he can do for me. So when I went, I was hoping that he would just flatten this out. Not knowing like what it Not would be. Not knowing yeah. what you really need. And when I went, he was like, okay, I'm going to take a little bit from here. I'm going to take some on your side. And then, you know, the curve of your back. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I know. Right there? Okay. Candy, we have a very similar story. <laughs> this, this part right the, the bra strap just never yeah. goes away. Well, just the I had just the lower oh. part because at the time I actually was way slim. I was only like 130 pounds. Oh, you were tiny. Well, in my mind, I wasn't tiny because I still had like thick legs and stuff, but I was just smaller at the yeah. time. So I was like, okay. And then my chest was a little bit flatter, I would say. He took some of that fat and put it in my boobs. Oh, you were ahead of the... That, that's a new thing we're hearing about now. But it, at the time, wow. that was the first time I heard of it, but he told me about it. You know what I'm saying? So the funny thing is I've never had a BBL. I've never had any fat taken from transfer to there. Um, a lot of people assumed that because basically when you get more of a it curve shapes here, your, it shapes your body. Different. Yeah. It just makes that, that you already have stand out a little bit more. And then you gain weight. I gain weight. <laughs> You gain weight and, and you keep chasing those rivers and waterfalls yes. because so, you keep growing in one place. Yes, and so in this place. I gain weight. The waist wasn't wasn't really gain. I guess because he had took so yeah, much out. Yeah, you take the cells out. Yeah, and so it was like I was just getting bigger in my lower. Did your boobs get bigger? Yes, because the fat that he took from there is gonna grow. I, and I did not know that. So what ended up having, like the more weight I gained. And, and it was so crazy because I thought I was, I was small then. And then all of a sudden, every year I was gaining 10 pounds every year. It's so I went from, you know, a petite 130 to like, you know, 150, 160 over the next um, few years after that. And so that's when I just really start, you know, looking thick because now I have these big It's proportion boobs. different too. Yeah. Your body's going to grow in different places. Yeah. And, and my legs always it was the place of... You know, if I gain weight, my legs and butt is just gonna be big, get bigger. So that, so over the years, you know, I just got thicker everywhere else, I guess, but like the waist area oh, that he took from. So that, you know, that was my first experience. But for me, I never really wanted huge boobs. So but now that you got was this a thing. fat that won't stop. Yeah, and and then even when I would lose weight, 
they wasn't losing. Mm -hmm. They were just still there. So that was bothering me. Um, I'm giving you a whole lot of story about that. No, about that. it's but, funny because it's my story too. So really? yeah, it's so similar. Like it's, it's kind of scary. Really? And I was just talking, I was like, you know, I have regrets about getting surgery in the first place. Mm -hmm. I was really young also, mm -hmm. really light. I was about 140 maybe, 130, 140. Mm -hmm. And I had, had a miscarriage and I gained all this weight. I was depressed. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm on YouTube, not on television, but you know, mm -hmm. they're like nitpicking the same way. And it's like, girl, you getting thick, you getting fat, you know, and it's the F word. It's just like, mm -hmm. okay. And I was also doing hair at the time. Candy, the girl, you know, do all the things. Mm -hmm. um, I was doing hair at the time and I had all these clients that were dancers and their bodies were just unreal. Amazing. I'm like, I just, and, and surgery back then, like no one talked about it. Mm -hmm. Again, I woke up like this. I was mm -hmm. born like this, but the whole time people are getting, you know, little nips and tucks. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, girl, can you just please help me? I don't know what's happening. Like my stomach, I just, you know, I used to have a flat stomach. Mm -hmm. I was 20 something years old. She was like, girl, go to Miami. And I was like, Miami? Lipo, mm -hmm. got it. $11,000, went, got lipo. Literally he sucked all the fat from my lower stomach only, mm -hmm. which was the worst thing he could have done. Oh, why? Because basically the same thing, like when they take certain fat from certain places, like it grows, I always, it grows. now I gain weight in my upper stomach. My lower stomach is flat as a board. Yes. So I also have gotten lipo multiple times because I'm constantly chasing my original stomach, mm -hmm. but no matter what, I'm never going to have an even stomach. It's never going to gain right. fat or lose fat the same way. Mm -hmm. So I'm constantly fighting my upper belly, looking like a rooster sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but the waist is small, so it makes no sense. Like, you know, yeah. my waist is this big, but I have this pad right here mm -hmm. that I'm always trying to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Gaining more weight in my butt now because he also lipoed. Mm -hmm. I have like no the back. Curve. I have no yeah. back, Candy. Mm -hmm. It's literally spine. Like I can never fall on my back. There's <laughs> not any fat there to protect my bones. <laughs> it's gone. And I'm just like, so now I've always had like an onion, but now it's like a shelf because yeah. I'm also gaining fat because my lower, you know? Yeah. So I'm just constantly chasing my original body mm -hmm. and it's, it's maintenance. And I, I kind of came out about it because again, it was something I would be shamed for. Mm -hmm. People always accuse me of having a fake butt, which by the way, guys, we have pictures. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I got to prove that, <laughs> but cause if it was fake, what? Okay. Right. If my butt is fake and... <laughs> I don't know why people are so like invested with people's bodies, but anyway, mm -hmm. it just became this body that was out of control. No matter how much I went to the gym, no matter how much I corset or waist trained, mm -hmm. I was constantly trying to get back to myself. And I realized that this year, I just went a few months ago also, I got my boobs done mm -hmm. and got, tried to get my uh, belly back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but again, it's never going to be, you know? Yeah. I just really want a fuller look here. So like just a fuller breast, but not so much like a bigger size. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. 365, 365. Go in there, underneath the muscle. I put all my implants underneath the muscle. I uh, put the implant underneath the muscle, my incision through here, instead of around the nipple. Because one of the theories is bacteria from the nipple, which everyone has, can get an implant and cause capture control. Okay. And I was just open about it. I'm just like, guys, please do not do this. Mm -hmm. Like, if you don't have to, don't. Well, I... I wouldn't say that. Really? Yeah, so for me, I felt like it was my fault that I continued to gain weight, not the doctors. Accountability, yes. So I had to take accountability for the fact that I no longer had the shape that I wanted. I think that now, look, here's the other problem. What I wanted to go to him for the- to You should have got skin, a tummy tuck. I really should have got mini a tummy tuck. But I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't know what mini tuck was at the time. I really didn't know. I still had that little push, so that bothered me. Whereas before, I think, I always had like a nice little cute but cute look and cute shape yeah. when I was younger. It he gave me more of a shape because he took out the more of my weight. No, yeah. You're you're and, gonna look curvy regardless. Right. So that wouldn't have happened if he went in because I was more so I had I guess more of an athletic build when Same. I was younger. I had I never had hips. I didn't have any hips. Never had hips. And so it was like by him curving my mm -hmm. waist then it gave the illusion of we hips. We are the same person. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, because so, what people don't get it is like you're never gonna gain in this section the same. So it's gonna like the fat is gonna go up and down. So you're gonna yeah. like look more hourglassy. Right, exactly. I wasn't mad at that. Oh, we never mad I at that. I wasn't mad at that. <laughs> the next time, spent money but did not get the service. 
So what had happened was, after my husband and I got married or whatever, you know, you got that in love weight, so I was gaining. This was before I got pregnant with Ace or whatever, and um, he worked on some show or whatever, and it was this doctor in LA that had he had this new procedure he okay. was doing. That, I guess he was doing the Vaser or something like that. New laser, some, yeah, some yeah, sort yeah. of lipo. So I was like, ooh, I, mean, I wanna try that. So I paid my money, went out to LA, and then the day that I got there, Todd found out his mother had passed. So it scared me. I left and I never went back because to me, I was like, is this, this a, is a sign? sign? Because his mother died that day. Um, and wow, I would have been. I, I yeah. never even went back and asked my, for my money back. <laughs> That's shady, though. Give me my money. <laughs> I, I, I know, but you know, in my mind, I kept thinking, well, maybe I might just reschedule or go back. I mean, and, and a lot of times they don't want to give you your money back once you pay. I mean, especially if it was the day of, because he technically yeah, it was missed the, out. Yeah, on he client. missed out on a client, so I just was like, whatever, whatever. I so hope you ain't paying full candy. I did because it was the n night before I was supposed to check in the next morning, Ooh, and you know by then you have to yeah. finish paying. Mm. So that never happened. But then after I had Ace, so a year after having Ace, I thought, oh, you know. You're done. Saying. I'm like, I'm done. So I decided to get a tummy tuck. In America? Yes. Okay. She said in America? No, because everyone goes out for that. I'm scared of going out of the country. I mean, there's this one group. I definitely have them in my mommy makeover file. Okay, well, go ahead yeah. and tell the people. Well, it's called Lux Recovery. It's black owned. So it's basically. Out of the country? Yeah, in Colombia. The so couple. How is, it, how is it black owned? It's crazy. They're so, Colombian? No, they're black from Brooklyn. The, I believe the wife got surgery and her husband was like a hustler. You know, he's like, hold on, this is a whole business. Mm -hmm. Started a recovery house out there. Mm -hmm. And he has his own network one. of doctors that are trusted, no deaths. Like, and anyone that's like, you know, doing bad practice, he cuts them out his network. So you're basically paying for his recovery house, which is like a mini mansion. Mm -hmm. It's my friend just went, she looks ridiculous. Really? Oh my goodness, she looks amazing. She had two kids, same thing. You're not supposed to get lipo because lipo doesn't tighten skin. So right. you'll be flat, but you'll have skin. You're supposed mm -hmm. to get a tuck. Mm -hmm. So she got lipo in Miami. Mm -hmm. Her stomach did not look the way she wanted. She went to Columbia with his group and wow, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, well, <laughs> wow. that, that's the whole purpose of doing this. You know, people are doing their research. They need to know who to go to, who not to go research to. Research is important. Um, first of all, I would, I like the first guy who did do lipo on me, but unfortunately, He's had some issues and lost his license. So I cannot give out his name mm -hmm. ever, unfortunately. Um, and, and that that's responsible Atlanta. to me because it's like people need to share. People keep these things under wraps. And it's just mm -hmm. like, you know, these doctors are trash. Some of them are like literally working on like, I don't know. There was one doctor in New York. He was like always on drugs to stay awake. And he was doing like 50 patients a day and what? botching people. But it was cheap, it was affordable, you didn't have to pay for anesthesia. So people oh, were like, God. you know, using you know, their money to go get this awake lipo coming out with infections and oh. you know, so it's like you need to share and, and be open with people. Oh, that's scary. So for me, it was a big deal about when I decided I was would go ahead and try the whole tummy tuck situation, it was a big question of where to go and who's gonna make the most normal looking belly button. Yeah. And the scar. <laughs> We're darker, so we scar I, different too. And we scar. We scar for everything, child. Oh my god, I scar so bad. I get it. So basically the mm -hmm. trend is I feel like the older you get you kind of don't want that weight on you. You don't want that weight and you don't want them down to here. <laughs> that, I was just telling my best friend, I'm like, you know, I didn't go that much bigger, mm -hmm. but I definitely have to like tape my boobs up and they're heavier now. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not too heavy because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm still a, I think I'm a D now, a small D, mm -hmm. but I'm, that whole, like I thought I would get my boobs done and they would like sit up on their own and mm -hmm. I would get this cleavage all the time. I'm like, mm -hmm. that's not true. That doesn't exist for me. Yeah, well, it looks like it's about to be existing for me. For well, Kenny, you... Anyway. <laughs> Whatever, Kenny. So, listen, so, I did the, um, he, the Tommy Tuck. And um, at the time, you know, like I said, from my first situation when I did just add fat, mm -hmm. that's, they were just big old bags of fat that was hanging. They weren't, like I so, said. So, I was, like, um, asking him what could he do about that. And so, he suggested the first time around, because they weren't too low but he was like he didn't know he didn't want to give me the scar of a lift 
right? Wh which is the T, right? So for it's the circle, line, and anchor. They call okay, it an anchor okay. Star. So he didn't really want to give me that scar because he was like, you might be able to get away with just putting an implant and that would give you a the little height. bit more of the height that you wanted. Oh. I was very happy with how my body looked. But the thing is, I did feel like my boobs were really big because now I got an implant with On my On top big of the old, fat. But yes. Later that year, because he's in Chattanooga, Tennessee, it's only a two hour drive. Oh, but I was being lazy and I decided to get a reduction from somebody here in Atlanta. So you got... I ended up with a scar Damn. and I, I didn't feel like he took enough out. So it was like, I still had big boobs and then I didn't like my scar either. So I was, and then, and then since then I gained weight. So it was just boobs these big old boobs. <sighs> just a mess. But I get it. Anyway, girl, I'll show you, I'll show you the new it. ones now. So anyway, so this year I've been saying for the longest, I wanted to reduce them and I wanted to lift them so that I could wear backless dresses. That was my dream goal. Because I'm like, everybody's able here. What's the point in having fake titties or having an implant? So you don't do you the tape? The tape is good, but it's it's. I want to be able to just walk around. Period. Just with natural. Whatever dress I want. Mm -hmm. So I went back right after my birthday this year. He reduced them. And see, Kenya went without me. She got her reduction. Shady and balls. I saw her. They look good? Ah, her titties look so good. Mm. They look so good, What's the recovery like? Um, it really wasn't that bad, to be honest. I'm so nervous about the cutting. I guess now I'm so, like, scared because of my oh, nipples. Oh, sidebar. Ooh, you look awesome. I'm small now. Look at that. You look great. Yep, everything looks really good. Girl, you like this. I want to look. This you want to try to stand? <laughs> I can help you. like boots. Man, what? <laughs> you can shoot somebody. I'm going to put this guy. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. pew. You're so funny. <laughs> Oh, and he reduced the size of my areolas, y'all. Wait, what? Oh, they perky and they little. They little areolas. And they cute. They cute. And they still sensitive. So tell me about you, your experience, because I know you were saying, oh, so shout out to Dr. Deal. Thank I you mean, so much. I mean, save him, because I'm saving him. Yeah, so um, I, I, you know, I get in trouble if I just pull my shirt off and show my, my boobs. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, I'd be like, <laughs> I really would love to show you. Okay. Because so. I really, I really wanted cleavage. Like, I never had that. I've always had chest. Mm -hmm. And my boobs have always been teardrop, and I blame Rihanna for that because I was what? because Rihanna didn't wear bras, and I was influenced by her. <laughs> I, I had my titties hanging real young. I stopped wearing bras, and they definitely will hang. Like you know, they weren't too bad. He said that they hadn't gone too far from the pole. Okay. And I didn't need a lift, so okay. I was just like, okay. I ended up working with this doctor. I will not share this doctor. I will not recommend you go to this this facility. Okay. Let's put it that way. The doctor, I think he's. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, why you didn't like the facility? Well, I just feel like they treated me one way and basically treated everyone else another way. So Which means? Basically, they gave me A-class service and everybody else got the boot. Um, a few of my friends who even went after I went, they got their surgeries canceled the day of. Why? The doctor just, he just didn't show up for like two months. The lie they were telling, he didn't have COVID jail. He was active on Instagram and went, pu and went private after people found his private page. Oh. So he was fine. I don't know what the deal was. Maybe he had, you know, an issue with the clinic that he worked at. But people were literally paying money, booking their surgeries, and he didn't show up. And wow. people were, like, coming at me, like, you just promoted this man. Right. Because we did a deal where, like, basically, was it I got my boobs free or the light bulb? The boobs okay. are free. <laughs> um, but I was going to get that pudge again. I told mm -hmm. you, still chasing the rivers mm -hmm. and the lakes that I was used to. Right. But we never gonna get there without the gym, okay? Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, I was going just to get that done mm -hmm. and to get some more lipo because, like you spoke about earlier, like you gain weight in your arms, your thighs, mm -hmm. my butt. Like mm -hmm. I just, I hated how I was gaining fat in my butt, and I was like, "Can you lipo it?" And he was like, "No." You wanted the lipo. You I wanted, wanted. I literally, if I could cut my butt off, candy, I'm I would. I'm scared of that because <laughs> the thing about it is, I don't want him to deform. I know that's what he was saying. You can't lipo. You really can't lipo the booty. But he basically said that. I'm going to constantly gain in that area, which is why I'm in the gym now. I'm like, you cannot escape good diet and exercise. It, it is what it is. He did tell me that I would be a better candidate for a lift. Mm -hmm. So again, like I wanted that cleavage. I wanted mm -hmm. like, I wanted this look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you know, you're going to have to get this done again in 10 years. You're really young. I would prefer mm -hmm. you just have the volume you want. That's what he suggested. Sorry. Have the volume 
and get the lift when you have to get this redone in 10 years. Mm -hmm. So if I would have got the lift, I think I would have got the look that I wanted, mm -hmm. but I wasn't ready mm -hmm. to, like that scar I'm not ready for. At the end of the day, and that is the one thing, if I don't say nothing else, go let to me the say gym. that. <laughs> go to when the gym. When you first get your surgery, you may really love the way you look, but if you keep eating, it will come back. It may not come where they and took it. It always from, comes in weird places. But it's gonna come back in weird places. I know after the first time I had life, oh, that's when I started noticing my neck and this, my chin. This. You too, right? Mm hmm I started noticing, I started getting like a wrinkle in my neck. And the cheek. And, oh my, it was just the chin for me. It was like double chin. So I, I hate people who look at me from the me side. Me too. It was like this. That's why I hated these braids so, real quick, but I like them now. Cool. So I definitely um, said that I was never really gonna, my intention was to never get any more lipo again because I don't really feel like that helps you. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that you can fix things is just like, it's like this distortion of the mind. It's like, oh, I yeah. can just go get it fixed. Yeah, it's like you fix one thing and, and cause another problem. You start looking like you about to pop <laughs> because it's tight. Like your skin still be looking yeah, tight. Yeah, it's, like, it's weird. It's weird. And then it start looking weird. You lumpy. see, now lumpy. we've all seen women that we've known have done lipo and then they body be looking like they about to bust. Like I know, we the skin see, looks a like, little weird. It be yeah, tight and like it's just going. Candy. <laughs> but oh, what I say is like my thighs are like that. Like my thighs are like I ain't never like over my thighs, but my thighs are thick, but they stay smooth even when I, I definitely gain like over my inner thighs. It was literally you like You wanted that little thing. No, I had that naturally. Ooh. But I started gaining the gap. Oh, the gap. The I had the gap. gap. And I used to stand like a little bird too. So mm -hmm. you can see it. And I was in high school. The thighs were literally rubbing again. Fighting each other. Uh -huh. There was no space. Mm -hmm. Just right at the top where the was and I had to literally put deodorant <laughs> like I was sweating so bad there yeah. was no air um, going to the vag so I had to I was like okay I need you to take care of this and I had my kind of light bulb wait oh, how do you do that I've never heard of people yeah, light bulb and they I gained up. weight it was that bad? it was a moose knuckle <laughs> I heard that was a good thing <laughs> it was a, it's a I don't know about the fat that cat. Uh, fat cat. I always saw guys <laughs> like they went in with fat. Not when I'm wearing my little uh, sumo wrestler outfits and you see this, it's like literally like I this, put like a camel put, toe. More than a camel. Moose. Uh, moose knuckle. Uh, a moose knuckle. Yes, I was like, I need you to lipo that. I need you to lipo that. Yeah. I've heard of any doctor but like, lipoing that. <laughs> now, now you have taught me something. <laughs> I didn't know they did that. Basically, I like, need all my little fat right there. No. Well, the way mine is, like, the mine is here. Mm -hmm. It's this part. It, it don't really do nothing for you. It's not like actual, like, lips. It's yeah. the, the top you part. You mean the front part? Yeah, the, oh, literally, like, like a Barbie. Fish. But I just have, like, um, a little, like, hole, like a scar. Mm -hmm. Like, it's one, two, three. Mm -hmm. One in my belly button mm -hmm. and one in my lower back. But yeah, I mean, I was asleep. So I guess when he did the stomach, mm -hmm. he just did that. And the same one here is how he did the thighs. He also recommended like not to go too aggressive on the thighs because then I'll have skin. Oh, so, uh -huh. yeah. No. So he don't like, I still have fat there, but it's, it was, it was huge candy. I don't know why. That's what I'm saying. Like if you're going to get lipo, just work out because you will gain weight in the weirdest places. Like if. Someone told me that I have a fat cat like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have just been like, oh, I'm gonna go to the gym. But so, you know, like so I'm saying, like it's gonna be something you're constantly. You're gonna be nitpicking yourself. At yeah, and time. once you know, and if you have it to do it, you're gonna keep going back. And it becomes an addiction, in my opinion, mm -hmm. when you're not like, hey, let me be accountable and stop eating this, stop drinking, mm -hmm. you know? But it's like, when you look good, you wanna go out. Yeah. You want people to see you, yeah. you in these streets. Well, I have decided, like, I, I mean, I love what what he has done for me, but I feel like it's just a jump start. I really need to do like another, you know, uh, workout regimen or- I just you know, started with a trainer a too. A quick little fast or something. Not knock, knock me off a good 10 more pounds, you know what I'm saying? So I can, so y'all really can, I can really oh give God, the young girls so a run for their money around here. <laughs> you already giving them a run. I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, you know, I, I, I'm really feeling good about where I'm at. But um, another thing that I realized is with having smaller boobs, you don't want to get it too big because then you're going to start looking all flat chest yeah. with all this. And I ain't doing that. So yeah. I'm about to get myself together. And as far as like what you said, like with the doctors, for me, I definitely would have to put um, Dr. Chad Deal's name out there. Like, and, and, one and thing that's that, dope. The one thing that I had to say to him, because he is, he is a white man. Um, Dr. Deal is Caucasian. Yes, he okay. is. 
Real cool dude. And he knows though. about black scars. That's important to me. Yes. Now, and that was the, the, the conversation I had with him was he doesn't have enough um, black people on his page. Got it. He said what he notices a lot of his African-American clients don't want to their pictures to be yeah, put up. Yeah, because people get slaughtered for having work done. Right. So he said that's why he doesn't have as many pictures to oh, post. Oh, so he does. Of. He's been doing black patients. I mean, the girl who told me about him was black. But I know she wasn't finna let her picture be up there. I told him that, you know, once everything goes down, because you know you're supposed to wait so many months with your swelling or whatever, I'm definitely gonna do another photo shit so you wait, can see this So you greatness. did the tummy tuck and lift same time with him? Well, the tummy tuck that I did with him was years ago. That oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I'm like, you're moving old. really good. Okay, 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 okay. No, he did revise my scar though. Okay. Yeah. Same natural, nothing looks operated. You can look how low your bikini can be. Yeah. yeah. See that? Mm -hmm. Right? You can show off all this cleavage and a v neck. And there's no scar. This is why we do the scar. We stop it right there. You can show off the side of the breast. Mm -hmm. You know, those, some of those bikinis mm -hmm. do that. No scar. And look how low a bikini bottom you can wear there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. Done. When Ace was one is when I did my tummy tuck. Got it. I was very happy with it. I do have pictures that I can pose that show, you know, and we could put it up in the video of like maybe two months out yeah. after it and, and yeah. body was right. I know that's right. Okay, body was together. But now I really, just so he can show people that yes, uh, you know. I mean, you look great. This is what I do. I said that I him. will um, post it just so he could, you know, because yeah. I feel like, you know, I be wanting representation for us <laughs> everywhere. So yeah. I'm like, we know you that. need to have more of us on your page. Yeah. <laughs> what I will say about um, when you mention people that go to Columbia versus people that get surgery done here in the States. One thing that I have noticed and I don't know if it's just me and or what, but it seemed like in out of the country, they get your waist be like because they can take inches. out the most fat. So I think they can only take out four liters of fat in the United States legally. Mm -hmm. In Colombia, there's no like max or cap. I think. I think you can just literally lay down. They can get sucked dry. Like take mm -hmm. it out. And they definitely have different techniques. Like mm -hmm. the way they do it. I don't know what they do. Mm -hmm. But geez, Louise. If that's what you're going for, you know, then cool. I was scared to go overseas. I was like, I'm no, I mean, I think surgery is scary, period. Mm -hmm. Like, it's always a risk. Like, and I think, like, I thank God every day because I was mm -hmm. really young. And that's another thing. I feel like if I could go back, I would tell my younger self to wait because your body ain't even finished, girl. Like, mm -hmm. I wasn't, I didn't even know what my body was capable of. And it's just mm -hmm. like, I didn't give it a chance. I was like, pressured wanted to look perfect and you know there's this perfection that you're never going to achieve you have to love what you have mm -hmm. and just enhance it and do it for you well i think i was like early 30s that first time and, and that's the perfect age to me yeah girl i was like why didn't i do this a minute ago because <laughs> i was very happy so back to you and what we were talking about before we got on the camera you said, so let's talk about the after effects of the surgery. You said you don't have any feeling in your nipples. It's been miserable. Why? Because that's how I activate. That's that's the activation button. And you know, she's she's been out of commission. It's numb. Was it was it numb from the time he they did it or is it something that happened over time? What I want to say is I don't remember feeling my breasts immediately after I like it was just like, "Oh, I felt pressure." But like my boobs didn't feel like my boobs. Like it just felt like I had like, you know, maybe like a little sandbag on my chest. And I'm like, okay, didn't mm -hmm. hurt. Mm -hmm. But it just felt like pressure. I got um, my surgery last September. It was mm -hmm. like one of those quarantine, like, let me, mm -hmm. you know, I deserve it. I'm gonna get my boobs done. Just got married. Mm -hmm. You know, here, baby, here you go. Okay. Okay. Oh. Finish my massage. Baby's gonna help me shower. Mm -hmm. Upgrade. Mm -hmm. He didn't ask for it, but you know, me in my head. Mm -hmm. So, got the boobs done, and I wish I did more research because it's not something you just wanna do. Like, he did really good lipo on my friend, mm -hmm. and I saw that he did boob jobs, and I was just like, okay, I'll go to him and get everything. I should have went to someone specifically for breasts mm -hmm. because I still didn't get the look I wanted. 
that's another thing everybody don't think you can do everything with every doctor some doctors have specialties that for they are good at so you know go to them for that and then go don't be trying to get a special yeah don't this is another don't thing don't be trying to get I, a deal I think I left with Dr. Deal <laughs> I think I have friends that be sitting up there like oh girl that costs too much blah 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 I was like okay you have to think of your body as if it's your car like some people will go out there and go get them a Benz and can't afford that yeah, means. you gotta maintain that. But thing. your body is your being, okay? And you have to remember your that. Your body is your bins. Hashtag. Yes. <laughs> Put that in the comments. Your body yes. is your bins. Like, you know, it's an investment. Yeah, it is. It's an investment because it's like you have to be happy with the way you look, the way you feel after it's all said yeah. and done. You know, don't be trying to get it on a two for one special. Here, <laughs> like, I don't even got a two for one. I would prefer, I would rather somebody, you know, you know, because I heard that they do have credit. Care they, credit, yeah. Care credit, different things that they could do. I would rather you just pay down on it and pay payments than you to just try See, to go to the these, cheapest person With these you new can clinics, find. you can't even trust that because you'll make payments and they'll, like, they'll be closed. Like, something will happen and they'll close and rename. That's what they do in Miami. It Wait, is literally... What? So, like, people will pass away or get infections and the clinic will change the name change the doctors like mm -hmm. it's, it'll be like a new name yeah so mm -hmm. you could be paying and your money could be gone so that's here it's, it's a okay different. so that, i don't know i don't know but there has to be um you just have to be very careful about who you can make sure you do your research yeah definitely you know i definitely would want to see somebody's work or see somebody that they've done before With, okay and then let's the other thing about the breast lift situation i think they tell everybody that it is possible that you could end up you know losing sensation I not think it would be me i didn't think it would be me and that's that's my only regret like i'm like i could have left my boobs alone and had my boobs because i, I definitely think it's changed my sex life a little bit oh yeah because it's that's my activator so you know you know mm -hmm. you know get them excited and it 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 works for the whole body yeah yeah and and now it's like i have to rev her up and it's like there's no push to start anymore i gotta <laughs> crank that thing you know and it's it's hard for me, and I'm like, oh my god, Tara, you are newlywed. You better get into it. Get into yes. it. You know, he's buying. I'm like, damn, he bought me some toys. I'm like, something wrong. <laughs> some nice ones too. Am I not? I'm as excited, but I definitely realized that that was a big part of my, you know, arousal. Yeah. And she's gone. Oh my god. And it's been really sad. And she ain't never coming back. I don't know. I be trying. I be trying to DJ a little bit. It's just like give it a year. Give oh, it a year. Okay. And it hasn't been September will be a year the end of September. So I'm hoping, I mean, I have literally closed my boob in a drawer. And I only felt it because I closed the drawer. Like it was like closed. And I was like, oh, like I don't feel, I don't feel it. Mm. I was like literally over my vanity doing my makeup naked <laughs> and literally closed my nipple. In the vanity drawer. Yes. I could probably get them re-pierced and wouldn't feel anything. Re-pierced? Oh yeah, I took it out. Oh, you had a piercing. Yeah, she was she was pierced. <laughs> Rihanna! I blame Rihanna for everything. <laughs> Rihanna, it's your fault. That's I mean they're they're sensitive. definitely always like hard, but they're not I don't they're not here. Yeah, no, they did mine are just sensitive at this point. I mean, I pray that they stay that way. I really haven't tested because, you know, I'm still They're healing. still fresh. What size are you? I told you I haven't put on a real bra oh, yet. You know, I'm so just curious know. because I want to save that for my folder too. <laughs> I, like, no. I like the size. I'm not sure. She's full. You're probably a triple D. Double D? You think I'm a double D? I was I'm was. i allegedly a D. See, I, I wasn't even wearing the right size bra the before? last time when I had got them. Yeah, before. I was still trying to stuff myself in my double D bra, which I knew they was too big for that. No, my, my bestie took me to get measured. She was like, we need to figure out what size you are, girl. Because nah, these... child, I wasn't even getting measured. <laughs> I refused because I was like, I'm getting these things reduced, so I'm not buying any new big bras. This is not <laughs> New happening. big bra. <laughs> uh-uh. So now, I'm just in my little sports bra, but when... They look Great. When I start back wearing real bras and I get measured, I'll have to tell you. I'm, I'm curious. Because yeah. that's the volume. I love it. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to lose some weight, though. I get that nice little... Whatever, Kendry. Girl, I'm so happy, girl. I'm so happy. I'm not hating or whatever. I'm so happy. I mean, cleavage to me is everything. So these are taped right now. Just so I can get a little oh, okay. something, something. But I would love... Do you know what size um, implant? Maybe? A 365 cc. Really? And you didn't get the volume? Mm-mm. That's crazy. Mm-mm. I mean, honestly, they look really natural. Like, no one ever knows, which is a yeah. great thing. 
Um, but again, but I that's look how at, mine were before. They, they looked more natural. natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone that I know that has them, like they have that that look that I want. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like mentally like, nope, nope. Ten years. I mean, I know I'm gonna have to do it. I definitely know because they they're already here. You know, the nipples they they they, they here. Well, so I, I need mean, them. If the tape is working for you and your husband loves them, just leave them. As well, I have is. to get them ten years. You have to change them anyway, right? That's what they say. I know people who got theirs for 20 years. Really? Yes. I know uh, two women, in fact, who's had them for like 20 years. Oh, I, I was already like, okay, calendar mark, 10 years. I got to get these things changed out. Mm -hmm. Get a new get a new bag in here. So I, I don't, I I don't mean, know. I, listen, I'm Does not it spoil? Do they I'm get molded? I'm not recommending <laughs> what they did. Let's be clear. I'm not recommending their efforts. <laughs> But She's just saying, it's been I'm, done. It's been done. I've, I've seen it. Yeah, them. I was definitely nervous because, you know, YouTube, you know, talk about breast implant illness, which is one thing I also was nervous about. What is that? So basically, like, your body rejects the, the silicone. Mm -hmm. So it's like you put a foreign object in your body. Like, it's like you get the same symptoms of, like, lupus. What? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like something that they're suppressing. Oh, don't be scaring me. <sighs> I mean, it, again, that was the only thing that I was like, all right, Tiara, this is like something that you know might happen. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't think the nipple thing would happen to me. Mm -hmm. But um, at one point I was like, the, the symptoms are like, you get really tired, um, your hair starts falling out. Like it's, it's real. That's yeah, scary. if you look it up, it'll actually don't look it up. Well, Cause we, we not gonna have that over here, okay? Right, okay, so the thing that I'm working on now is to make sure that my scar heals thin and flat. Yeah. I have my scars, I'm really angry. Angry? Yeah. Did you use the silicone gel or the silicone tape? I did not. I, I definitely had it. Somebody gave it to me. And I had it still in my drawer. Yeah. It's just, I just they feel like They say you can use it when you're a little older, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's just one really that's a little keloided. Um, the scar is pretty wide, too. My scar is thin, but the, um, what is it called? Hyper uh, pigmentation, mm -hmm. like spread. Mm -hmm. So it looks like the scar is about this thick, but the actual scar is like as thin as my nail. So one side I started using um, Triluma, which is like something that mm -hmm. uh, tells the pigment to mm -hmm. like go back mm -hmm. to normal. So this breast is like coming back. Mm -hmm. This one is, she's, she's really angry, but you can't see it. My friend who's a dermatologist, she does that. Mm -hmm. She does that. That's um, her, Dr. Jing Jing here in Atlanta. Um, she Write does, that down too. <laughs> she does laser therapy on scars. So like, um, if it's thick, it can soften it up, uh -uh. but it's, um, it's, it takes multiple treatments. Yeah. That's not a one time I would love situation. to get a few of these lipo scars taken care of. Oh, it's a whole science. It's a whole science. So I'm trying to give you some little tea and things that we have learned, but really, you know, you really need to do your research and you really need to get with the right doctors and the right people. Um, we are not experts, so don't be blaming me. At all. You know, <laughs> these are just what people that worked for us and things that worked for us. Like, I would tell anybody you have to use your own peace of mind. I am not Rihanna. Do not do what I do, okay? <laughs> don't do as I do. <laughs> And I mean, honestly, again, I would say if you can wait, I know like there is social media pressure and like everybody wants to be this baddie and have mm -hmm. this body. Mm -hmm. If you can wait, if you're in your early 20s, just wait. Wait till you're like 28, at least, in I my mean, opinion. Some, some of these young girls, their bodies is looking crazy amazing. They're, they're born with bodies. I wasn't, no, no, they ain't born. No, some, some of them. No, no. no. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> no. Like, let's be for real. I mean, we do know, like, it's a lot of women that, you know, maybe they did have some natural, um, small waist and a cute little butt, but it's a surgery these, look. These yeah. hips and, and yeah. some of these asses, you, if you know what <laughs> surgery looked like, you know what it was. I mean, one thing is, like, you're never going to get everything you want, also. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, you'll go to someone and they may be amazing at lipo, but, like, they don't shape you right, or you're mm -hmm. uneven, or you're, you know, your body absorbs the fat mm -hmm. on one side, or. You just never know what you're going to look like. So mm -hmm. you just got to keep that in mind. Like you're starting something that you got to keep up with. So, I mean, I think we done gave you all we can give. All honey. the tea? I think we gave them all the tea. I think we gave them all the tea from uh, numb nipples. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so thank you so much thank for sitting and talking me. and being so open and sharing with the people. Because like I said... I mean, for all you celebrities out there, we understand if you wanted to get a little bit done, a little bit tweaked, a little bit whatever, little you don't have to keep it a secret. I mean, it's your business. That's enough. You we didn't talk about that. You don't have to. What? Just about why do we feel like we can't be honest? Like, why is it like such a secret? I mean, because 
because it's so much judgment. You know, it's a lot of judgment, especially in our community, about doing anything to your body. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's like you you have to look good for you and not really care what other people are thinking about it. You I just know? don't want anyone to look at me and, like, envy me or, like, have this, like, idea that I'm not good enough because she looks like that. I'm like, no, baby, come here, let me tell you something. Like, this is what I did. Right. Like, you know, like, I'll never, ever be like... But that's my stomach why, is flat because right. it's flat. No, baby. There's been assistance here. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, I'm quick to tell you I don't have some assistance. I'm just going to say do what works for you. And at the end of the day, regardless of what you do, I definitely suggest getting in the gym. And eating right because you have to maintain the surgery because it really sucks when you get the surgery, you're looking good, and then a year later, six months, six months later, (laughs) is like six months. Did she have surgery? Girl, she looking a little thick, a little thick, thick. Like she's about to pop. (laughs) You have to work out. It is what it is. Like if this COVID didn't teach you one thing. Health is wealth. You can look as good as you want on the outside, mm-hmm. but you need to go to the gym. You need to sweat. Put the lace frontal down. Because you for gotta a bit. maintain it. Work. Why spend all that money if you don't want to maintain it? And I'm saying this for you and for me because and I got for me. Remind <laughs> and so, for me because I need to. Who actually has a gym. session at five? Okay, well let me leave you alone. <laughs> I done held you here too long. Oh. So what do you have going on or coming up that the people need to know about? Well, um, she's coming back to YouTube, um, which is which is huge. It's been a few years of me being inconsistent and just wanted to kind of live my life in mm-hmm. private. And it's been great. I have this new home segment coming up. So I'll be renovating our home, which is crazy. I'm really excited about that. Mm-hmm. And 1130 is growing. Really excited. Um, this is 1130 candy. You and know? it's cute. Thank you, girl. But um, yeah, you guys were there when I launched it two years ago, and she's growing. The baby is growing, and mm-hmm. you know our responsibilities are growing. So I'm just gonna document that on YouTube and kind of just help other girls figure out how to pivot. Like I'm mm-hmm. the queen of pivot. I went from singing on YouTube to doing hair to slanging wigs and weaves to now mm-hmm. slanging some clothes. So mm-hmm. it's just you know it's pivot season, and mm-hmm. I'm just really excited to just share my life again. It is so much more that I would love to talk to you about, but we have to do it at a different time because I'm like even with you in marriage, you know, business from switching from YouTube to you know being an entrepreneur and all these different things that you're Hustling, doing. Candy. Yeah, you just got a lot going on, girl. <laughs> you got too much for this one conversation. <laughs> this is why I love you. I mean. Just like watching you grow, I mean, you've always been someone that I resonated with. I'm like, I am candy. I'm the candy <laughs> of this thing right here because you always pivot. Like, you always pivot. Thank you. Just black excellence, girl. Thank you. And you oh, inspire God, me always. So Legit. I'm sitting next to <laughs> excellence, child. But thank you so much. I had so much fun. Thank you. Love thank you. Mwah. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. And thank you for watching. Speak on it. Speak on it. <laughs>